Okay, for this one, if you want to graph this, you already have an equation in slope intercept form. So you got y equals mx plus b. All right, the coefficient in front of your x here, it's you can't see it, but it's a 1. So it's like y equals 1x plus, your b is really, you're adding a negative 4. So it's plus negative 4. So this is your y-intercept, the, the negative 4. Your slope is 1, but it's easy to write that as a fraction, 1 over 1. 1 over 1, rather. So your slope is 1 over 1, your rising 1, your running 1. All right, your y-intercept is negative 4. Okay, so first plot your y-intercept, negative 4, so we go... On the y-axis, go to negative 4. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. Plot that here. Then we want to rise 1, run 1. Do that. And we do that as many times as we want. Rise 1, run 1. Rise, run. And you're just going perfectly diagonal here. So if you want to graph that line here, it'll look like uh, this, except let's do that a little straighter. So it'll just be a line going through all these points. You only have to graph two points. But that's what that looks like. So first graph your y-intercept. Your step is always first step is always graph the y-intercept. And your second step is use slope to graph a second point. And that's how you graph any equation in, in y-intercept form. If it's not in slope intercept form, if it's not in slope intercept form, put it in slope intercept form and you can always do this. All right, for number 15, all right, you're given a slope and you're given a point. Now, you can use point slope form if you have it memorized. That's the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. If you don't have it memorized, you can use the, you can still use slope intercept form. So first, I'm going to do it with slope intercept form. If you want to see this one worked out, you can stick around for that. All right, but let's just write what we have. Let's see. They tell us it's a slope of negative 5. Slope is m, so right here I'm going to put negative 5. So y equals negative 5x plus b. Alright, they give you a point. Remember, points are x comma y. So the x, we could substitute a 2 in. So this is negative 5 times 2. We don't know what b is. We're solving for that. The negative 3, that is a y coordinate. That is not your b. It's not a, it's not a y intercept because it has to be like 0, negative 3 for that to be a y intercept. Here, in your y, you put negative 3. So you simplify this out. Negative 3 equals f negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 plus b. Add 10 on both sides to solve for b. So you get 7 is equal to b. So your equation, your equation is y equals negative 5x plus, you said b was 7. So it's y equals negative 5x plus 7. That's your answer right here. If you want to use point slope form, you simply just plug it in if you have the formula memorized. The y is just a variable. y1 is your y coordinate, negative 3, so it's y minus negative 3. Equals m, they give you the slope, negative 5, times x, that's just a variable, minus x1 is 2. Plug that in. Then simplify this out. This is y plus 3 equals negative 5, I'm going to distribute this, negative 5x plus 10, and I want it in slope and intercept form because I prefer that way, so I'm going to move the 3 on both sides. y equals negative 5x plus 7. No matter which way you do it, you get the same answer.